Hi, I'm Faith Anna, KD3Z, and welcome to HamRadio.World for the Etiquette 101 mini-series. And today's topic is spotting. But before we get into that, let's talk about these radios. So as many of you know, our, or uh, two of our go boxes got stolen a few weeks ago. And so far the insurance hasn't paid for the radios in them. But God provided, and we actually won several radios at Dayton this year. So we're going to be using these radios to build new go boxes. And stay tuned for videos about that because they're going to be coming out pretty soon. Back to the topic of spotting. What is spotting, you may ask? Well, a little bit of a story first. When we were driving up to Dayton this year, I was trying to work a few people, but the bands were pretty dead and there wasn't really anybody on. One of the people that I did work, however, I asked if they could spot me, and they didn't know what spotting was. So, we're going to explain what spotting is and how to use spotting. So, a spot is basically where you have the frequency and the um, call sign of a station. And where these spots go is called the cluster or the spotting network. And you can access these from different websites and sometimes even logging programs. But the one that we like to use is dxsummit.fi, which is this. And the spots that are inputted here, um, they kind of intersect, if that's the right word, with all the other websites. So if a spot is put on any one of them, it'll show up on all the others. So you don't have to worry about only certain ones showing up on certain websites. If you go to one, you're going to see them all. So you can find which one you like best. But for this one, you have the person who spotted, the frequency, and the person that they're working, or the station that is actually calling CQ or whatever they're doing. And this is the time that it was spotted, and this is their country, and if you want you can put a little bit of information if it's like a, a special event or parks on the air or whatever it is. And you also have filters on this website, so let's say you only wanted CW contacts. You could could push CW and then you go out of the filters section and now it's only going to show people that are on CW but if you just want anybody don't bother about the filters it'll show you everyone but it, say you're looking for a certain de-expedition station and you want to be sure you get them you can search individual call signs here and it'll show the last time they were spotted and where they were also if you put your grid square in here it'll kind of map out for each station what your chances are of working them. So let's just take this this person up here. Oops, wrong one. Well, that'll show you where they are compared to you. Uh, but that's not the one I was looking for. Okay. And this circle is the things going around the circumference are the hours in UTC. And these little sections are the bands. So right now, this little section right here is for what we are on now, 20 meters and 21 hours UTC. And this color corresponds to, to a percentage, and it'll tell you right here what the percentage is. And this percentage is basically, based on the propagation, what your chances are of getting them. This does not guarantee you're going to get them if it says 100% chance. It also depends on pileup and if they can understand you because of QRM or something like that. But this will give you a rough idea of, um, of if you can can make the contact. So down here, let's get into the actual spotting part. So here you can put your call sign, which I already have in here, and the DX is the uh, oops. <laughs> DX is the station callings call sign. So the person that I was listening to listening to at the start of this video, I'm gonna spot them. And they were W4RTV. And then you have their frequency in kilohertz, and that was 14, what was it, 2, 6, 5. And then we can just push share. It'll take a little while to update, and it lets you know that you submitted a spot. You can just push OK. And right here, we got our spot. And maybe somebody will now see that spot and want to go work him, and he will get another contact. So that's it for this video on spotting. Stay tuned for other videos for the Ham Radio Etiquette series, as well as other video, uh, videos in general. <laughs>
73.